Scotty Mack here. This is my first time to Moab and uh, Easter Jeep Safari. I did absolutely no planning for this event and saw a break in the weather and drove from my home in Scottsdale, Arizona, a tank and a half to Moab, Utah. Really surprised at the 392. It did 17.1 miles per gallon, but I did suffer from my lack of planning. Trails are absolutely fantastic here, but motels and... <laughs> <laughs> restaurants are slammed the one motel i could get offered a very hard bed air conditioning heater that was noisy all night long and light bulbs were optional my main goal was to touch on a few light trails see what it's like and hit the vendor exposition hall i was especially looking for off-roading items and battery systems all the advertising states exposition hall but what i found out is the two huge parking lots immediately jason outside had far more exciting things to see come with me today to the exposition hall on my first trip to easter jeep safari expo hall Not a lot here that interests me, except we do have Matt Soft Road Yankum Ropes guy here. Those are pretty nice. But the rest of the things here, I absolutely have no interest cool. in. I brought a bunch of Toyota products to a Jeep. And, and All right. Guys, outside, we've got the excitement going on. He's got a full air suspension to raise it up. I saw him doing it earlier. It's absolutely cool. There we go. And that's as high as it goes. Out here is a, actually a little bit better than inside. We've got a lot more things that I'm interested in. Uh, a lot of knickknacks and tools and accessories rather than major chassis and suspension. I picked up a Maxxis Duck, Orange Ducky for the trail. And here we have the Adventure, American Adventure Labs. They've really put together something nice here. This is probably a better display. The stuff outside is a lot better than the stuff inside. Really. And this looks like an XR. The American Adventure Lab has put together probably the best display in my eyes than have any of them. All the gear set up, usable, showing you how the refrigerators stack up, all the kit, the campers. I don't know why I spent time inside there. I can all of this is all the excitement. Look at all this. This gives you the ideas, what to do, how to do it. This is a great way to display. I think it, I'd never heard of it mentioned. I have never bought anything from American Adventure Labs, but boy, I'm gonna sure start looking at their stuff. This is a nice demonstration. And I've been looking for a towel holder. Get here at the Adventure uh, Trailer Kit, and look at this. They have an axleless trailer. Look at the clearance you have on that. It's dark in there, I know, but man, it's a great idea. Just another whole area. No wonder the Inner Expo isn't that exciting. It's all out here. There's a whole nother parade lap over here, here guys. This outside is a lot better than inside the expo. Look at all the stuff they got to choose from. Now this is what we're talking about. Some fun things to think about adding to your vehicle, to tune it up, make it just a little nicer, add that little extra helper here or there for light. Let's keep going. The LEDs were great, gave me a great idea for a stick on the back for the sand, the illumination. Boy, this out here is just all the fun stuff. All the excitement and all the possibilities that you buy your, your vehicle to. Guys, here's a really nice preservation. Guys, the American Adventure Lab has really knocked it out of the park and displays today. Really, I think, in my opinion, they give you the most vision, the most ideas of what you can do with your vehicle, and the most high-end quality products. I've never seen them before. I think this is All a great fair food you'd ever want. Bam, bam. from Easter Jeep Safari and scored a bunch of things, even the commemorative t-shirt, as well as the worn 
beanie cap with LED, and of course, a cute Maxim Ducky. I will say this looks like an event I really want to do again, but I got to up my game in logistics in as far as the hotel, motel, or some accommodations and food. It's you're, really, they're, they're taking 10 times the number of people and throwing them in this small little town. You can imagine what happens. It was absolutely great. And number one reason to go is the Jeep organization. If you You've never been on these hills they have spotters everywhere very friendly people to guide you on your way and make sure you have the most on your trail time at moab get your hotels your food accommodations all sorted out and boy leave it to have fun on the trail time scotty max saying thanks much 2024 easter jeep safari